Hi, this is Paul Ross with the Okamogee News Network, and I'm with a teacher at the primary school, Sylvia Bagby. And Sylvia has come a long way with the garden that she, uh, they had here. We start, about February, our last interview with her, and it was just nothing here. And you'll see what, what improvements have been made. Sylvia, what have you done here? We've come a very long way. During spring break, I buddied up with some people here in town, Dr. Osborne, Mr. Seebeck, Mr. Bobby Howard, out at the Omogi Health Department. We came out, we laid out a design, we got our planter boxes put together, we have some topsoil brought in, we've had some, um, some mulch donated. Mr. Bagby from Bagby's Lawn Service came in and he mixed in some different fertilizers into our boxes. Mr. Bagby had donated these pots. Okay, we've had several different vegetables planted into our gardens. We've had donations from Omogie Creek Nation. They donated the wood chips for us. We've had donations from Johnny's. We've partnered with lots of different people and we've had volunteers from the Preston community, Omogie community, and the Banks community to come out and work during spring break to help us get our garden this far. We've had a retired farmer, 85-year-old Mr. John Patrick from Preston, came out and carved the timbers so that our little ones can plant seeds in them for flower beds. We've had lots of collaboration, lots of volunteerism, and it's really come a long way. I'm very proud of the process that we've made since February. Very good. Improvements 100% here. It's great for the kids, and we'll be talking to the kids in a few minutes. Thank you. Hi, this is Paul Roscoe again, and we're with Mrs. Bagby's second grade class here at the primary school, and we have one of her students who explained a little bit about what's going on here. And your name? J.C. J.C.? Okay, tell us about the growth of plants. Uh, what happens to a seed when we plant it? Put it in the ground and cover it so um, the, when it rains, the soil gets wet and the seed plant gets wet. The roots go down and the stem comes up, and the, when the stem comes up, it's going to grow leaves. And what purpose do the leaves serve? Um, they get the sunlight and make food for the plant. So Her? what two things helps the plant get the minerals that it needs? Um, sunlight, soil, and water. Very good. Very impressed by what your knowledge of what you've learned so far. Thank you. Okay, I'm with Nathan. And Nathan, tell me, what have you learned about Peppers. And is this the first time you've ever done something like that? Yes. And was it fun? Yes. And it'll be more fun when you see it uh, when your product probably gets grows and gets bigger. So we look forward to seeing that. Thank you. And this is Paul Roscoe again, and we have young Mr. Devin Smith who's going to tell us what he has done here. Devin, what have you done here in the garden? We've been planting some peppers, tomatoes, flowers. We've been. We have planted a whole lot of flowers so we we watered them and we can wait until they grow well when i had it a flower in a bag it started to grow up to six inches really you got a bug on you mm -hmm. okay it was like i i put it a pea in i just grabbed some soil and i put it a big hole through it and i just like and my teacher put in water in the bag so it could grow and there was a whole, there's a whole lot of plants going right here to start, starting to ready to grow. Very good. So you've learned an awful lot from Mrs. Bagley. And one more thing. What's that? When the seed, when people, when somebody puts the seed inside the dirt and water it, it'll start to grow up like this. Like if it was a rose or a, like a flower, like a other type, like. Okay, thank you very much. I really appreciate it.